All right, we're joined by David Coleman, fresh off his win from the WPT online last night for $56,000 and change. It sounds like you guys finished up pretty late last night. What was the total uh, run time on the event? So we started at five. Um, mm -hmm. I think we ended around maybe 3.30. So yeah, it was a long tournament. It was great structure, so lasted a long time and we got almost 900 people, so. Right. And I find it interesting about your poker resume that you are almost entirely an online player. You play a little bit live. You cashed at WPT Borgata before. Um, but is there a reason that you have such a strong preference for the online arena? Let me say this, I, I have a decent uh, share of live experience, but my results are just really lackluster. So when you look oh, at my, gotcha. my hand, in, it just, it may look like I don't play much, but no, I'm in a good <laughs> amount. I just like the convenience of online and, and the volume you're able to put in. With your win last night, you win a seat into the five diamond in Las Vegas. Yep. Uh, you played that twice before, correct me if I'm wrong? Yeah, yeah. I think it was 2017, 2018, but I'm not okay. sure. Any luck in the event at the time? Did you go deep no. Enough? The first time I played, I think I had a pretty good day one and uh, just couldn't get it going day two. Yeah, it's a great tournament and I definitely enjoyed playing. And I was very much considering playing if I hadn't won this package, but with the package and obviously no brainer, I'll be in there whenever it happens. And let's talk a little about the final table. You came into the final table second in chips. Correct me if I'm wrong. What was the, the dynamic and field like at the final table? Because my opinion, as the buy-ins get higher uh, in the, you know, the Jersey and the U.S. facing sites, I do think the fields get regular and certainly the final tables can be pretty tough. But what was yours like? Yeah, it was uh, interesting. There was uh, definitely a few recreational players and a few pros. And I was familiar with at least three guys. I think I won a few pots early on and I never really like was anything close to short and was able to apply pressure and play a lot of hands and flop a lot of hands and make a lot of hands. So it made my life real easy. So what are your plans for the remainder of the summer? Is it uh, entirely online poker or do you have some things, you know, hopefully lined up afterwards? Yeah, no, nothing, no crazy plans. I mean, I, I would like to be able to travel, but not, not, much, uh, not much of that going on. Kind of stuck home and doing my thing. I uh, appreciate your time. Take care. Thanks.